today's lecture will focus on recombinant protein expression in Escherichia coli. The biotechnology industry is driven by the production of recombinant proteins. So Escherichia coli or E. coli as it's commonly known is a good host for the production of recombinant proteins. So in order to produce recombinant proteins in E. coli, we have to first develop the gene construct. Now the gene construct basically is that segment of a gene which can be expressed as a protein in a prokaryotic host. In the case of E. coli, which is a bacterium, we have to ensure that this gene construct does not contain any introns. It's basically an amino acid sequence with an intact open reading frame. So now the gene of interest can be isolated from another organism using PCR based methods or it can be synthesized using synthetic genetic approaches. Once you have your gene construct, you need to have an appropriate expression vector. So the gene construct is basically ligated or constructed so as to be expressible in a plasmid DNA vector. Now your gene construct basically contains a promoter sequence, a ribosome binding site, the gene of interest and a terminator sequence. So here we have it, the promoter sequence, the ribosome binding site, the gene coding region and the terminator sequence. Now this entire vector is ready for transformation into Escherichia coli. Vectors also have an origin of replication which determines their copy number in the E. coli host and they contain one or more antibiotic resistance markers which are used for selection during the process of screening for transformance. So there you have it, your plasmid DNA. This plasmid is then transformed into E. coli using electroporation or using chemical transformation methods. Upon transformation into the host, this bacterium will express the protein which is encoded by this specific gene. That's about it for gene expression in E. coli. Our next segment will focus on problems which you may encounter during the process of gene expression in E. coli. Thank you for watching.